Let's practice another trigonometric equation. So the goal of this exercise is eventually to find theta. So we said that all that needs to be done is you just need to get this part alone. That's all you need to do. Don't worry about what's in that bracket. Just get all the other stuff alone. And so the first thing we'll move away is that one. And so we're going to end up with 2 tan of theta plus 10 equals to 3 minus 1. So I just zoomed in there. And so that's going to give us 2 tan of theta plus 10 equals to 2. Next would be to get rid of this 2 over here. So knowing that there's a t multiplication in between there. So that's going to give us tan of theta plus 10 equals to 2 divided by 2. And that's going to give us 1. Now that this part is alone, you can go get your angle on the calculator. So you say shift, if you have a Casio, tan and the angle that you or the number you're going to use is 1. So you go type that in on your calculator. If you're using a sharp calculator, you must use second function instead. And that's going to give you 45. So what you then do is you take whatever's in the bracket and you say theta plus 10 equals to 45. Then you just get theta alone by saying 45 minus 10 and that's going to give you 35 degrees. Moving on to number two, so remember your first goal is always to get this part by itself. And so the first thing we could move away here is this two. So that two is currently at the bottom. And so to, mul to get rid of it, we're going to multiply on the right hand side by two. And so you're going to end up with two plus sin of two theta minus 20 equals to seven over five times two. And 7 over 5 times 2, well, that's going to be 7 over 5 times by 2 over 1. And so we multiply top times top, which is going to be 14, and bottom times bottom, which is 5. Next step would be to bring this 2 over, and so we'll make it a minus 2 on the right-hand side. And so we end up with the sin of 2 theta minus 20 equals to 14 over 5 minus 2, which you can type in on the calculator. And that's going to give you 0 0.8. Now remember, once we have the sin causal tan by itself with this bracket, you can then go to your calculator and you'll say shift sin of 0 0.8. And that's going to give you 53.13 degrees. So I'm just going to say 53.13 degrees over here. And then on the left hand side, you'll say whatever's in the bracket. So it'll be 2 theta minus 20. So now you've got to get theta alone, and so we're going to take this 20 over to the other side, and so we're going to end up with 2 theta equals to 73.13, and then you're going to have to divide by 2 to get theta completely by itself, and so you're going to end up with a final answer of 36.57 degrees.